doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network as we welcome you to Heinz Field in a gold out as your Pitt Panthers, clad in their championship gold uniforms, will take on the Duke Blue Devils in an ACC Coastal Division clash. Everything to play for in the Coastal Division still for the Panthers. Virginia Tech losing to North Carolina last week has given the Panthers a slim margin of potential opportunity to make the ACC Conference Championship game for the fourth straight season. It's going to be a great day of football here in Pittsburgh. Beautiful conditions. The Panthers looking bright and lively in their gold. And take a look at the beautiful Heinz Field crowd. Everybody in their gold garb as the Panthers take on Duke as the Blue Devils are set to open the contest here with the football. And Duke, it's been a tough, tough year for the Blue Devils. Offense, one of the worst in the country. Defense, one of the worst in the country. They lose by an average margin of 24 points per game. And so the Panthers, heavy favorites in this one. But the Blue Devils have played Pitt close in recent seasons. Most notably, two seasons ago, Duke lost to Pitt just 13-10 to and nearly came away with a victory if it wasn't for a Paris Ford fourth down pass breakup deep in Pitt territory in the final minute of the game. But... It'll be a tough day for the Blue Devils today, missing three of their starting offensive linemen, but they start things off well. That's going to be James Hood on a triple option. The receiver sheds a tackler. He's up across the 40, the 20, 15, 10, and he's going to score. 69 yards to the house for James Hood, and Duke in the opening minute of the game strikes a massive body blow to the Panthers. What a play there. They run the triple option. James Sapp, their quarterback, sheds the tackle of Quell Hampshire, pitches it to Hood, who fights his way into open space and then rumbles all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. And it's 7-0 Blue Devils. What a start to the contest here. And we'll see how the Panthers can respond. It's going to be Davion Reynolds taking the kickoff from three yards deep in his end zone. He's out over the 30 across midfield up into Duke territory, eventually taken down at about the Blue Devil 42-yard line. So both teams with a couple of explosive plays to get things off and running here. C.J. Kirk's going to look underneath short gain there for Jay Keys and it's going to set up third and nine now for the Panthers Keys coming off a 10 reception game against Georgia Tech last week and it's going to be an interception this time though Thomas is able to corral the football there and CJ Kirk with an errant pass there I'm not sure if it was a bit of miss communication there with the receivers but they ended up going two different directions the ball didn't go in the direction of either of them and Duke takes over the football here just a minute and a half into the contest with an opportunity to really put the Panthers behind the eight ball. And they're going to do just that. Marcus Williams, great run up the middle, 18-yard pickup. And this Duke rushing attack is looking very impressive here early on in the contest. It's going to be Williams up the middle again with plenty of open space. Eventually, he's dragged to the turf, but a 15-yard pickup yet again. And the Blue Devils inside the pit 30-yard line. Here's James Sapp. With the read option, he gets no room to run, and so it'll set up second and 10 now for the Blue Devils. Sat back to pass here. Plenty of time as Pitt rushes just four, but no receivers able to get open downfield, and that's going to be Roddy Baker, the senior defensive end, defensive captain from Wayne, New Jersey, getting in the backfield and making the stop. Third and 16 now. Sap looking to the end zone, and he's got a touchdown. Brandon Stevenson. Jacob Lachlan, I don't know what happened there. He just lost the football, kind of lost track of where he was on the field. And Stevenson was able to get that one and get a foot down in bounds. You'd have to, I mean, Lachlan's in position there. That should be an interception. He just doesn't keep track of the football, doesn't get his hands up. And Stevenson gets rewarded with a touchdown. 14-0 Blue Devils inside of three minutes played here in the opening quarter of football. What a shocking start to this contest. The Panthers will look to rally as they get going here on second down as Davion Reynolds 
five yards and a first down for the Panthers there. Second and 11 now. Kirk's under center, making some changes at the line. He's back to pass, rolls out to his right, dumps it off to Davion Reynolds for a short pickup. Seven yards there. It'll be third and four now for the Panthers. C.J. London checks in at halfback, but Kirk's back to pass. Duke brings the pressure. Kirk has to use his wheels to get out from away and away from it. He dumps it off to K.J. Welsh. He's going to be stopped in midfield, and on fourth and two, the Panthers punt the football away to the Blue Devils who will have an opportunity to take a three possession lead in the opening quarter of play on the Panthers here. Third and four now for Duke. Sap back to pass. Pitt brings some pressure up the middle, but it's picked up well. Sap unable to find a target there over the middle of the field there. Good coverage by the Panthers. And they finally force a Duke three and out and get an opportunity to get their offense jump started. After a holding call, it's going to be second and long for Pitt. Bubble screen goes to K.J. Welsh for a 12-yard pickup. Third and seven now for the Panthers near midfield. Five-yard set for Kirk. He's going to roll out to his right. Dumps it off to Jay Keyes, who's able to turn up field. Stays in bounds for a nice pickup of 17 and a first down for the Panthers. They go two tight ends set now as Kirk's going to hand off in that direction to Davion Reynolds. He cuts outside. Doesn't get that final block. Cannon misses his man there. Reynolds could have been off to the races. Instead, it's a nine-yard gain. Setting up second and one for Pitt. They go read option and nowhere for Kirk to run. That's red in the backfield. Loss of three. And it'll be third and four for the Panthers. Duke putting a ton of men inside the box. Panthers handoff tackle to Davion Reynolds. And he uses that burst of speed to elude the defenders just long enough to get first down yardage and move the chains for Pitt. First and 10 now for Kirk. Looks over the middle. He's got Benjamin Ogden there. Nice little pitch and catch there as the redshirt senior from Texas goes for seven yards. Texas to Texas connection. And C.J. Kirk did get hurt on that read option play. A.C. Reese, we didn't even have enough time to mention it there, but A.C. Reese was in for that one handoff to Davion Reynolds. But Kirk back into the football game here as the Panthers keep their drive moving inside the red zone now. But Kirk is going to be sacked on first down. Loss of eight there as Matt Bates comes up the gut and brings down the freshman quarterback. Second and 18 now for the Panthers. Three wide set as Kirk's back to pass. Dumps it off to Davion Reynolds. And he's all clear going to the end zone. He's got a convoy. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Panthers freshman. Davion Reynolds, 21 yards to the house. What a play there. Great job by C.J. Kirk. Nice little almost jump throw to get it over the outstretched arms of the defense. Davion Reynolds with no one in front of him. He could have hopped, skipped, and jumped into the end zone. The Panthers finally on the score sheet as they trail 14-7 to Duke here late in the first quarter. And that's going to be a nice stop by the Panthers, but Calvin Carlson's going to be flagged for the face mask. It'll be a 15-yard pickup for the Blue Devils as the clock winds towards the end of the first quarter here. One second to play. Duke will get a playoff sap. Great job eluding the blitz of Quell Hampshire. Finds James Hood for a 12-yard catch on a comeback route. And it'll be first down for Duke as we get the second quarter underway. Pitt trailing the Blue Devils here 14-7 on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. So first and 10 for Duke at their own 48 here. Sapp's going to hand off to Marcus Williams, and the Panthers finally bottle him up in the backfield. Calvin Carlson with a great tackle. Loss of two there. Third and 12 now for the Blue Devils. Sapp back to pass. Plenty of time. Pitt rushes four. He's got a man open, and he finds him. That's Isaiah Carey, the Blue Devils, his number one receiver, and he's off to the end zone. 54-yard touchdown. That's the one thing Sapp has done really well today. He's eluded pressure. He stayed away from sacks. Even when Pitt gets rushers into the backfield, he dances around them, creates some extra time in the pocket, and then uncorks a bomb to Isaiah Carey for the touchdown. The Panthers back down by two touchdowns here at Heinz Field. Nice throw by C.J. Kirk there on first down. Finds Paul Lee, fits it into a tight window. Six-yard pickup, sets up second and four. It's going to be Davion Reynolds now. Nice counter there. Five-yard pickup, and the Panthers move the chains. First and ten now. Kirk's under center. Two tight end look for Pitt. Play action to Sibley. Kirk's back to pass. Duke gets some pressure. Kirk's hit as he throws, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Harrell taking that one away. Jay Keys was breaking open for a deep ball there. I think that's where Kirk was trying to throw the football. He was hit as he threw, though, and so the ball came out like a wounded duck, and Harrell, ever the hunter, was able to bring that one in. 
and give the Blue Devils fantastic field position as they look to extend their lead here. Kirk talking to Narduzzi on the sideline. You can see disappointed with himself, but I mean, it's tough to blame Kirk on that. When he was hit as he threw, it was pretty clear who was open on that play. Jay Keyes was coming open deep. If Kirk gets that ball off without getting hit, that could be a touchdown for all we know. Instead, it's a complete switch of the field, and Duke with an opportunity to extend their lead. Third and three now for the Blue Devils. Trips to the right. They run in that direction with Sapp keeping it himself, but the Panthers have that snuffed out all the way. Avery Heller into the backfield brings down the quarterback and the Blue Devils will settle for a chip shot field goal pushing their lead to 17 points here in the second quarter. So CJ Kirk leading the offense back on the field needing a response for the Panthers to stay in this football game and on first down he finds Caleb Cannon open in space across the middle of the field. Great run and catch there to Mini Gronk as the redshirt senior goes for 24 bringing the Panthers near midfield. And they're going to hand off to Davion Reynolds. He's got room up the outside. Great run as he fights through one tackle. That's a 22-yard pickup for the freshman speedster. And the Panthers moving the ball very impressively here. Antonio Greer finally able to hold on to a pass. Last game, he had zero receptions, two drops. He hauls this one in this time, and it's a 12-yard gain that moves the chains for the Panthers. Second and eight now. It's going to be Benjamin Ogden on the slant route. Kirk finds him quickly. Needed eight, got nine. It'll be first and goal now for the Panthers. They go uh, four wide set with London in the backfield. Kirk's going to roll out to his right, create some space, has some room, looks to the end zone, and he's got a man, K.J. Welsh, for the touchdown. Great job by Kirk to extend the play with his legs, but keep his eyes downfield. Welsh did a great job working the back of the end zone, making himself available, and Kirk finds him. Great hookup for the Panthers there as they make it 24-14 to in favor of the Blue Devils. An upset alert around the ACC. Virginia up 14-10 to on North Carolina. North Carolina just upset Virginia Tech to make themselves put themselves in the conversation for the ACC Coastal Division crown. What a turn of events this would be if the Cavaliers were able to secure the victory. Florida State leading Boston College 14-10 in a big showdown in the ACC Atlantic Division as both of those teams are in the hunt to try and dethrone Clemson as they both play the Tigers later on this season. Whoever wins that one will surely be the top favorite to have an opportunity to knock off the Tigers. 24-14 Duke here midway through the second quarter. It's going to be Marcus Williams taking the handoff for a gain of four as the Blue Devils look to get their offense back on track after stalling in great field position on their last possession. And Sapp again! A great job extending the play with his legs and then finding a man downfield. That's John Smith who's able to find open space for a big pickup. And Duke's back into pit territory yet again. This one's Marcus Williams running through a couple Panther arm tackles, turning that into a five-yard gain. Third and five now for the Blue Devils at the pit 40. Sap back to pass. He can't get away from pressure this time. That's Ronnie Baker in the backfield. Yet again, the second sack for the Panthers' senior defensive end. And Pitt does a great job forcing a punt from the Blue Devils here. And they'll start with the football at their own 20-yard line. Second 11 for the Panthers. They go five wide. Kirk back to pass. Time. Finds a man that's cannon over the middle of the field. And that's enough to move the sticks. 13-yard pickup for Mini Gronk. Pitt doing a great job just taking what the defense gives them, not trying to force too many big plays. They look like they may have created one here as Kirk had plenty of running room there. One last-ditch tackle from the Blue Devils brings him down, but that's a 14-yard pickup for the freshman signal caller. Second and seven now for Kirk yet again over the middle, and he's got K.J. Wells for a nice pickup. He's doing a great job. He missed on a couple of deep throws that have led to interceptions, so he's now taking a more methodical approach, just finding the open receiver, even if it's not a huge gain, and keeping drives moving for the Panthers. Second and ten now. This time he's going to take the deep shot. Had Jay Keyes there, but Keyes wasn't able to hold on through the contact. He usually makes those grabs, and it'll be third and ten now for the Panthers after that falls incomplete. Kirk sitting in the pocket, dumps it off. He goes back to Keyes, shows faith in him. Of course you have to. He's the best receiver in college football. And Jay Keyes goes to the crowd and says, I got this for the Panthers. First down for Pitt. Keyes now into the quarterback position. Wildcat set up there as they hand it off to K.J. Welsh on a jet sweep. 
Seven yard pickup there for the sophomore receiver. Second and three as Kirk's back under center. He hands off to CJ London this time and the senior goes up the middle for a nice pickup. First and goal for Pitt. He stays in the backfield here as the clock winds. It's going to be Kirk keeping it himself on what looked like a design quarterback run there. Only a three yard pickup. Second and goal now from the five yard line. Five wide set as Duke brings a corner blitz. Kirk throws it to the corner. He had J Keys open there and he just didn't find him. He was looking, I think, at Cannon all the way and it's gonna be an incomplete pass. Third and goal now for Pitt. They stay five wide. Kirk, as Duke brings another corner blitz, he looks for police. He's unable to hang on through the traffic and it looked like J Keys was open again right. underneath. Right at the goal line there. Kirk didn't see him. He locked in on Lease. It was a good throw as Lease had it in his hands. He just couldn't hang on through the traffic. And so Johnny Midday comes in, kicks a field goal, and sends us into halftime. Duke surprisingly leading your Pitt Panthers 24-17 after an impressive display a huge run of course was what broke the game open then duke continued to pound the rock in the first quarter with the rushing attack a couple of big plays through the passing game as well they've pretty much lived and died by the big plays the panthers just need to limit what duke can do on individual plays and i think they'll be able to shut down the blue devils in the second half they've controlled the clock they need to take away the turnovers and they're still in this football game but they're certainly in for a tough contest the rest of the way so we'll get set to start the second half. The Panthers with the football at their own 25. CJ London in next to CJ Kirk. And the two CJs hang onto the footballs. It's Kirk through play action trying to roll out to his right. Nowhere to go. And so it's a short gain there. He takes a hit, which certainly Pat Narduzzi will not like to see his freshman quarterback taking too many of those big hits. But he does enough to get three yards there. Hands it off this time to his compatriot CJ, CJ London, who goes up the middle of the field. Eight-yard pickup and a first down for the Panthers. Motion from Caleb Cannon this time. Kirk's going to look for him over the middle of the field. Nice drag route there from the senior tight end. Moves the sticks for the Panthers as they get right to midfield. Second and seven now. It's a bubble screen. That's K.J. Welsh on the outside. Good blocking on the edge from Keyes and Keith on Yango as Welsh is able to stagger his way forward for 11. The Panthers into Duke territory now. C.J. London there takes it on the handoff. Three-yard pickup as it'll set up third and long for the Panthers now. Trying to keep this drive and move a bit closer to field goal range. It's very close to the edge of Johnny Midday's range at this point. Third and nine for Kirk. Wants to avoid a sack. He's going to do just that. Uses his legs and scrambles for a first down. Great job by the freshman. That's the big key with him compared to really anybody the Panthers have had at quarterback for the last few seasons. Even Kenny Pickett. C.J. Kirk just has has so much more mobility that when things break down he's able to create with his legs and keep plays alive and keep drives alive which is huge for the Panthers right now third and 11 now for Kirk back to pass looks over the middle of the field he's got KJ Welsh and he's into the end zone for a 28 yard touchdown what a job by CJ Kirk and that's something that he's worked so hard on improving as the season's gone on his pocket presence take a look at that he steps up in the pocket Gives himself plenty of time and then fires a rocket over the middle to K.J. Welsh who battles through the contact and falls into the end zone as the Panthers find the equalizer here in the third quarter, leveling the score 24-24 against the Duke Blue Devils. What a throw from Kirk. Sat back to pass for Duke. He's got Marcus Williams over the middle. Avery Heller is able to come up and make the stop on him after a six-yard pickup. Third down for the Blue Devils. Sapp's going to keep himself on a read option. And again, it's Heller coming forward. The junior strong safety making his presence felt in this one. Great stop there. Duke goes three and out. And Pitt with an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. After being shell-shocked by the Blue Devils for so much time, Pitt finally can take their first lead especially after getting great field position from a Davion Reynolds punt return. C.J. London's going to get the handoff up the middle this time. 14-yard pickup. We're seeing a bit of a resurgence from C.J. here as he's finally getting a bit more of a run out in this contest and making Duke pay. Great throw over the middle there. That's Jay Keyes hanging on through contact and getting right to the sticks for a pit first down. It's going to be Davion Reynolds now goes off tackle. Nowhere to go, though. 
for the freshman. Short gain there. Sets up second and eight. As Sibley comes in, the Panthers in a pistol. Kirk's going to have it this time. He pitches it out to Reynolds. He tries to find the edge there, and Duke does a great job spinning him down out of bounds. That was the play the Panthers scored a huge touchdown on last week against Georgia Tech. Great defense by Duke to keep it to a minimal gain there. But third and four, Kirk picks up the conversion. He finds Paul Lease over the middle of the field for a nine-yard pickup. First and ten for Pitt at the Duke 10. Tough to get a first down. The Panthers will have to just try and find the end zone here. It's going to be C.J. London up the middle. Three-yard pickup. Second and seven for Pitt. Kirk takes up residence under center here. Sibley in the backfield. They're going to roll Kirk out to the right into open space. He's going to scramble, and he's going to find the end zone. The Blue Devils had their back, their backs turned to the quarterback in coverage, and you can never do that with someone with the mobility of a C.J. Kirk. He, they roll him out into space, a designed rollout, and Kirk's able to just use his legs to outrun the Blue Devils defenders and dance untouched into the end zone, giving Pitt the 31-24 lead. Sapp's going to hand off to Marcus Williams here as he's undercut by Ryan Jacobs. Short gain there, third and eight now for a struggling Blue Devils offense here in the second half. Sapp over the middle, has a man. That's Isaiah Carey, his second catch of the day. The Blue Devils' leading receiver came into the game with 50 catches. He's only got two here today, but they've both been for big gains. First and 10, Sapp steps up in the pocket, and he's looking very, very impressive here today, keeping plays alive. Like I said, he steps up there and just makes another great throw for a first down for the Blue Devils. Marcus Williams goes off tackle here. The Panthers in pursuit. That's going to be Brian Youngling bringing him down. Sets up third and one now for the Blue Devils. Sapp's going to keep it on a play action. The Panthers get home with the pressure and nowhere to go for Sapp this time. Great job by Pitt. And it's going to be a long field goal attempt for Duke. 47 yards. And that kick is off the upright. It's unable to bounce through. It's a doink for the Dukies. And the Panthers stay up seven points after the missed field goal. Kirk keeps it himself on the quarterback. Draw on first and ten. Takes another hit. But it's a five-yard pickup. Second and five now for the Panthers late in the first quarter. Rolling out to his right is Kirk now. Plenty of space. Looking deep, and it's nearly intercepted. Brad Thomas gets his hands on that one. Third and five now for the Panthers. Reynolds checks in as the sidecar for Kirk. They're going to dump it off to Reynolds again. He's out into open space, and Davion Reynolds at the 40, the 30, the 20. One man to beat. Beautiful juke, and Reynolds is in for the score. 64 yards to pay dirt. Davion Reynolds showing off why he might be the most explosive freshman in college football. Another screen, and it goes to the house yet again. The second touchdown reception for Reynolds on the day. Great blocking and play execution by the Panthers, but then Reynolds, after using that explosive speed, he has to beat Brad Thomas with the juke. He does just that, leaves him in the dust. Brad Thomas is going to need to pick up his shoes off the turf there, but a great game for the Panthers, and they push their lead to 37-24 and nearly get the ball right back. Brian Youngling dropping a sure interception. It was thrown right into his hands, but it falls incomplete as the Blue Devils try and get a counterattack going here late in the third quarter. 37-24 pit, third down for Duke. That's a deep ball. Avery Heller and Quell Hampshire in coverage, but John Smith comes down with it. 36-yard pickup will take us to the end of the third quarter. Your Pitt Panthers leading 37-24 on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. Second and two for the Blue Devils, needing a score to stay in this football game. As Sapp's back, he's going to keep it himself on a read option. Avery Heller in pursuit yet again. He fends off a couple of tackles. Ryan Jacobs eventually brings him down, but a great run. Ten-yard pickup from Sapp there. Moves the chains for the Blue Devils. Second down, they send a man in motion. Pitt brings some pressure. He offloads it underneath. That's Marcus Williams hauling that win across the middle of the field. 13-yard pickup. Goal to go for the Blue Devils. Sapp keeps it himself. Great tackle there. Calvin Carlson, the read option. And Sapp takes a big hit there on first down. Second and goal now. Sapp keeps it himself yet again. He's going to be corralled by a pair of Panthers. Lachlan and Jacobs come forward, and he's going to need to be helped off the turf this time. Dewan Cooper forced to come in at quarterback on third down for the Blue Devils. as He's back to pass. Looks underneath. He's got Young, Stephon Young, two-yard pickup there. Not much room. It'll be fourth and goal. And the Blue Devils will get Sapp back here on this play. Sat out for one. He's back. Fourth and goal for 
Duke. Sat back to pass, dumps it off. He's got Young, but a great job, and it's a Darion Mitchell meeting him at the five and making the tackle, forcing the fourth down stop. The Panthers hold serve and will take over the football at their own six-yard line. Sap was lucky to even get that throw off. Young made a great catch, but the Panthers' defense quickly swarmed him, and he had nowhere to go. Great run there from Dave Young Reynolds, showing off the fancy footwork with the spin there on a 12-yard pickup, getting the Panthers out of the shadow of their own end zone. First and 10 now. Kirk looking nowhere to go, and he's going to be sacked. A huge loss there as Corey Ellis comes up and brings down Kirk for a 14-yard loss. It'll be second and long for Pitt. Kirk keeps it himself here. Triple option look for the Panthers. Pitches it out wide to Davion Reynolds. He shakes off one tackler and is going to be brought down at about the 14. So third and 14 now for the Panthers. They get a few yards back. CJ looks, rolls out to his right, has plenty of space and time to make a decision. He's going to fire it deep. He's got a man. That's Benjamin Ogden over midfield, deep into Duke territory, and hauled down at the 23-yard line, a 61-yard catch and run for the Panthers there on a huge third and 14 conversion. Great throw by Kirk. Ogden came open deep, and the Panthers nearly get the deciding score. C.J. London, 22 yards before he's tripped up at the two, and it'll be goal to go for the Panthers here. They go back to London on first down. He's not able to fight through the Duke defenders. Brought down at the line of scrimmage, second and goal for Pitt as they go heavy set now. Play action from Kirk. He's going to roll out to his right. Pressure coming from the Duke defenders. Nearly finds Caleb Cannon there but good coverage by Clavon Caldwell to force the incompletion. Third and goal, Kirk under center with Reynolds behind him. Back to pass is CJ. He's gonna look to the corner, and this time he's got Caleb Cannon for the score, and Pitt may have just put this game out of reach. 44 to 24 for the Panthers. It's a great throw from Kirk. He rolls out, sucks in the Duke defenders, allowing Cannon plenty of room to run open in the flats there, and he just puts it on a plate for him and finds his senior tight end for the touchdown. The sixth score of the day for C.J. Kirk in an incredible, impressive uh, individual performance for the freshman signal caller. He's just been so, so good today and created so many nice touchdowns for the Panthers here. Duke, though, trying to fight back in this contest here. Five minutes to play in the fourth quarter, down 20, and Sapp is going to be swallowed up by the Panther pressure. Jalen Hills, the man to get after the quarterback, his sixth sack of the season. It'll be third and 10 now for the Blue Devils. Back to pass is Sapp. Has a man open. That's going to be Hood who makes a great grab there. Runs into his own def uh, player as well, but hauls that in for a 14-yard pickup and a first down for Duke. Back to pass is Sapp. Looks out wide. He's got Brown this time. Youngling's unable to bring him down. Avery Heller, the man to force him out of bounds eventually, but 13-yard pickup for Rashad Brown and a good play from the Blue Devils. Third and long now. Sap back to pass here. Looks over the middle. He's got Tyson, and Willie Tyson has eight, but eight still to go for the Blue Devils, so they'll go for it here. Already 0 for 1 on fourth down here in this quarter. Sap back to pass over the middle. Hood's unable to hang on to it. The Panthers will take the ball away on downs yet again, and with 3.41 to play, Pitt will just try and take off this clock and get out of this football game unscathed. It's Davion Reynolds there for a six-yard pickup. Sets up second and four. They go full house look in the pistol. Kirk to Reynolds yet again. Finds a hole. First down pickup as he shakes and bakes around a couple of defenders. Nine yards for the freshman as he goes over 100 on the ground today. 107-yard day for Davion Reynolds, as well as two touchdowns in the receiving game. He's over 90 yards receiving and a pair of touchdowns on three receptions for the freshman, one of his best games as a Pitt Panther. Third and one now. It's going to be Todd Sibley up over the middle of the field. The final first down the Panthers need to run out the clock on this football game, and it's going to be a championship-level performance in the championship gold uniforms for the Panthers. C.J. Kirk, 361 passing, 18 rushing, showed some incredible medal after two interceptions early on in this football game, finishes up with six total touchdowns, accounts for all of the Panthers' offense in this one as Pitt comes away with a 44-24 victory over the Duke Blue Devils here at Heinz Field on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. The Panthers will improve to 8-2, 4-1 and, 
5-1 and one in the ACC, and we'll have to wait and see how results fall around the conference to see if they're still in the hunt for the Coastal Division title. But it's a big victory nonetheless for the Panthers. They'll take on North Carolina next week, who is having trouble with Virginia. But North Carolina will be a huge opponent for the Panthers to take on, as we can see that Pitt will need a victory, or need to beat the Tar Heels and Miami in their final two games, as well as hope for some help around the conference to make the ACC championship game. But it's a big victory nonetheless, a great offensive performance from the Panthers, and a great win. Thanks so much for watching. Hail to Pitt. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.